Hey everyone, it's Logan Maltese, your friendly neighborhood barista for MajestyCoffee.com, and I'm here to show you an unboxing video for your brand new Nuova Simonelli Oscar II. Let's get started. So this is what your box is gonna look like. Decent size, I was able to carry it up two flights of stairs, and it feels like it's pretty solidly packed. All right, so let's break into this. First of all, you have some quick start instructions uh, in Italian and I believe in English as well. You've got your manual. Now when receiving and opening your new espresso machine, you want to make sure to lift it out from the bottom and not tip it over or anything like that. So I'm just going to place this on the ground and lift this up onto my bar. All right, so here's what it looks like when you first open it. It comes nicely wrapped in plastic and there is a protective plastic on the stainless steel on the side as well. So here's what your machine should look like. Inside this box, you'll have your brewing essentials. Here's your 58 millimeter stainless steel porta filter, a double headed spout for pulling shots of espresso, a single basket and a double shot basket your blind porta filter for back flushing, cleaning your machine, a tamp, and this piece of metal, which while it may look pointless, is actually pretty important in holding your baskets in place inside the porta filter. So hang on to this. Let's go ahead and start assembling the bits and pieces. Grab your porta filter and this little piece of metal and insert it inside the porta filter. You'll notice a tiny ridge on the inside that will catch the piece of metal, like so. Next, we're going to install the spout, screwing in a clockwise motion. Next, you'll take your basket. You want to take it, set it on top of your porta filter, gently press down, and lock it into place. If you installed the wire correctly, it should snap right in. As mentioned before, this is your blind porta filter basket to back flush your machine. We have the drip tray and grate. These two will snap together and then the drip tray inserts into the machine and should lock into place. Let's go over some key components of this machine. We have the steam wand, which comes with a competition grade tip with four holes, a lever for controlling steam, four buttons, including a power button, the warming tray up top where you can put cups to keep them warm. If you lift up the back, you have your water reservoir and a decently long power cord with three prongs. Next, let's remove this plastic adhesive, one of my favorite parts. Beautiful. Look at that finish. Next, we'll remove the adhesive on the front. This mirrored finish is intended to give you a view of your espresso from all angles while extracting a shot. Right off the bat, I'm just noticing how beautiful this machine is and how well built it is. In comparison to the first Oscar, this has some major improvements. Up top, there are six screws that you can unscrew to access the internal workings. Inside, you'll have one boiler with a heat exchange system, so you can pull shots and steam at the same time. When powering on for the first time, you wanna fill up your water reservoir or direct plumb in. Let your machine heat up for about 15 minutes to know that it's time to brew. Head to majestycoffee.com to check out the Oscar II and more. Our support team is waiting to help you make the right decision. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.